All right, so we're making this compost tea. This is some ancient forest humus. We only want a little bit of this because there's some already in my nature's pride top dress. So we're only gonna do 500 milliliters of that, maybe a little more. Then over to the worm castings. Scoop of that. 500 milliliters. And another one. And then we got the compost. Look at that white mycelium growing up in there. Five hundred milliliters. We'll do two. I think we'll do four of these. Three. And four. Alright, so that was ancient forest humus from Alaska. Worm castings. And some compost. Sorry, has some worm. Or, uh, yeah, already has some worm castings in there. And then uh, liquid bone meal is gonna be going up in there. And that is Nectar of the God companies. Tried to get the down to earth, but they were out. So, on top of that, I'm adding this mycorrhizae and molasses, but those do not have to go into the tea bag. So as you guys can see, I got the tea bag in there and I'm going to turn on the pump right now. Boom. Start mixing it up and then we'll add my quart and a half of molasses. Unsulfured molasses, by the Then I'm adding this half a gallon of liquid bone meal. Then I add a liter and a half of the King Mycorrhizae. Nice and dark. Next is the seabird guano, but we want to be careful because this has high salt content. So, it says for a tablespoon to two tablespoons per, per uh, gallon of water, but we're going to be careful because there's already a little bit of this in my nature's pride, so we're only going to do, I say, maybe a liter instead of four liters that it calls for. And I'm putting this directly into the tank because the aero mixer claims that it can do dry nutrients. And so I'm testing that out and we'll see how that goes. So now that I have all my ingredients into my compost tea, I have this set for one hour on, one hour off, like the pump instructions say. So that's what I'm gonna do. And it won't hurt the tea at all, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll come back tomorrow morning and probably feed it tomorrow in the evening and I'll show you guys what happens. So now that my tea has been brewing for around 25 hours, it's got some foam build up in there. It keeps getting swirled down though. And uh, yeah, if we check on the compost bag here, pretty much all of it has strained through. Just a couple handfuls left, and I will go through and top dress that onto my pots. And that's it. You just water it in. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one and uh, keep getting updates from my garden.